Hey guys, it's Andrew at Knight, and today I'm going to show you Nova Launcher on the HTC One. This is my launcher of choice. It replaces your Sense um, sort of interface. It doesn't actually touch any of the other menus. So, for example, in settings, it still all looks sensey. So, the only way you can get rid of that is to root your phone. But Nova Launcher will give you a different home screen experience, and it's really, really customizable. You've got icon packs, so you can see here all my apps. I've got this sort of MIUI style icon. And these are really easy to apply, you just download them off the Play Store and you apply them and it does it automatically to all your icons on your home screen and also in your app drawer which is really nice. There's all the other features you'd expect from a home screen launcher, you can change the transitions for when you flick across, I've just got the standard one but there's everything from cube to sort of this weird auto sort of rotate thing where the whole screen flips, there's some really cool transitions you can mess around with. You can also have the um, Google search bar either on or off in landscape or portrait. This launcher supports both orientations. I've got mine stuck to portrait because that's how I like it, but it's really, really flexible. You can also change how that looks. You can make it look like ICS or as mine does, Jelly Bean. Um, it's also got support for a scrolling wallpaper. At the moment, I've got a live wallpaper, so you can't see it. But if you do set scrolling within settings, I'll just show you it here. You can turn wallpaper scrolling on, so if you set a normal image as a wallpaper, it will scroll across, which a lot of people got a bit confused about in some of my other videos. There's some other cool features you saw there, you've got gestures, so I've got two fingers down, launches settings, one fingers down, launches the phone, let's cover that number up, and one finger up, launches my app drawer. The app drawer you can either have to look like this, or you can change it so it's a vertical scroll, I think this one's better to be honest. You can also hide specific applications within the drawer, which is really nice for getting rid of sort of the uh, the stock clutter that comes with some of the phones. Also some applications you may use but you don't want the app there because you don't want to use it that often. For example I've got pick speed wallpaper, I normally tend to use it just through the personalised option. You can choose it there, so I don't need that in my app drawer, so I've hidden that, so it just makes it a little bit less cluttered. Um, as performance goes, this is a really nice launcher. I've never had any issue issues with it. I've got the premium version and I've been using it for two or three years and it seems to work really, really smoothly for me, really nicely. As you can see, it's got normal widget support. You can add as many home screens as you like, um, as you can do with most of the launchers. It doesn't touch the multitasking. Um, a few people have messaged me about that, so the multitasking remains the same. But it does just change your home screen experience, makes it a little bit quicker. And I hesitate to say this, but I think battery life might be ever so slightly better with Nova Launcher because you're not running the stock, the, uh, the Sense Launcher, which I think is quite heavy. But um, yeah, it's not a huge difference. You may notice it, you may not. But Nova Launcher on the HTC One, really, really nice launch, guys. I suggest you try it out. There's a free version, also a paid version. There's also a nice little app which lets you have um, icons on your home screen. So if you've got a Gmail, then a little one will appear next to your Gmail. You can also see that from the folder view, which is really, really nice. And that's a um, little extension which I'll also put a link to in the description. So that's Nova Launcher on the HTC One, guys. I hope that's been informative. It's been quite brief, but I don't think I need to drill down into all the settings. You guys can play around with that yourself. This should give you a basic idea of what it looks like. So if you've got any more questions, please comment, PM, tweet me, whatever you feel like doing. And please subscribe if you haven't seen me before. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ta-ra!